washing blood of this one thing I'm sure I was made from the dust and the dust I will return but the dust ain't the end calls in my heart I know I'm spirit and soul to the father's home I go be assured be assured if trusting in the Lord all who call on his name are gonna live forever upon high. I found it in the word of the one who'll never lie. Be assured, be assured, if you trust in the Lord, all who call on his name are going to live forever. I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus can help me, Jesus alone. I Must Tell Jesus, played by Paul Dempsey from the CD To Him With Praise. And before that, Jason Dempsey and the Watkins brothers, Martin and Luke, singing Be Assured. And that's from the CD, New Beginnings. Here on Hold Fast Thy Word, we're always recommending that you read the Bible. That's where you're going to find out about life and about truth and about Jesus Christ, straight from your Bible. And we're blessed that God has been faithful and has given us inspired scriptures which have been fully preserved in the English language. God said he would preserve his word, and he has. And those scriptures can be found in your King James Bible. What a blessing. That's for sure. The Bible teaches that all scripture is given by inspiration of God. They are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. And as far as the promise of preservation, Psalm 12 verses 6 and 7 is the most famous passage. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. And that's what we see happening in the history of the English Bible. There's a purification process that's going on as God preserved his inspired word. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The Bible saying that the words of the Lord, these pure words, shall be kept not by sinful men, even though God always uses the human race to accomplish his purposes and his ends, but the Bible promises that God shall preserve them. And that's the title of our show, Hold Fast Thy Word, is a prayer to God saying, O Lord, continue to do what you promised you would do, and that's preserve this blessed Bible, every single word in it. And that's what we find in our King James Bible. Amen. Psalm 119, the longest chapter of the Bible, is all about God's Word. Let's hear Patty Valent sing the first eight verses. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. my ways were corrected to keep thy statutes, then I shall not be ashamed. When I have respect unto all thy commandments, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, when I have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep wonderful to have the life of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I like life, not necessarily referencing life cereal, 
although it's not so bad. But anyhow, I like eternal life. That's a whole lot grander subject than is eternal death. And praise the Lord, we can know that we have life in the person of the Lord Jesus. You know, people talk about new this, new that, and what have you. Well, if there's any such thing as a new look, you know where you're going to get it? In the old book. We'd like to introduce to you perhaps a chorus that you're not familiar with. If you aren't, that's fine. If you are, join right in the first hearing, all right? It's get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from the Bible. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from God's Word. The inward look, the outward look, the upward look from the old, old book. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from God's Word. How many of you ever heard the words other than right there? All right, not just a few. All right, if you do, if you're one of the few who knows, help me out or help us out, whichever Judy decides to do. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from the Bible. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from God's Word. The inward look, the outward look, the upward look from the old, old book. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from God's Word. All right, now you've heard it, you've learned it, sing it along with us, all right. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from the Bible. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from God's Word. The inward look, the outward look, the upward look from the old old book. Get the new look from the old book. Get the new look from God's Word. Well, amen. I love that song. That was Alan Moravik from the People's Gospel Hour. Get the new look from the old book. The scriptures say that the volume of the book speaks of the Lord Jesus Christ throughout each and every book of the Bible. Within its pages, you will discover that God knows all about this fallen world and our sin. And God puts his love in action. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this believing faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. It's a free gift. You cannot earn it. The Creator already extends His hand out to us through this entropy-ridden world, and all we need to do is accept by faith the free gift of salvation. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow, washed by the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. Jesus said, Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. 